The great source of American concern about the family during the early 1960s involved the black family. In early 1965, a then obscure assistant secretary of labor named Daniel Patrick Moynihan had a report issued that described the state of the black family. And the picture that he drew frightened many Americans. It showed that 25% of all black marriages were ending in divorce or separation. It showed that uh, upwards of 20% of black families had only one parent. And this was a tremendous source of, of uneasiness to the culture. Uh, Daniel Patrick Moynihan argued in his report that the breakdown of black family patterns uh, was so great that it would keep poor black Americans from participating in the mainstream of American life despite civil rights laws. And then when the riot broke out in Watts later in 1965, suddenly everyone had their explanation for why the riot had took place, that it was somehow the breakdown in black family patterns that was the problem. And therefore, if we were going to stop riots in the future, we had to develop a whole battery of anti-poverty programs that would be aimed at trying to restore and reinforce poor families. And that battery of social programs became Lyndon Johnson's Great Society. Daniel Patrick Moynihan was subject to tremendous criticism at the time for the arguments that he was making. After all, the overwhelming majority of black families in the early and mid-1960s had two parents. Uh, most families were stable. Most children were growing up in two-parent homes. Uh, but he was very prescient in identifying developments that would in the future affect all American families no longer defined in terms of race. That is, single parenthood, uh, children growing up in single parent homes, uh, these developments would affect all American families, not simply black families in the future. So he identified a development at a very early stage. Many Americans fear that the social developments and even the social programs of the 1960s had catastrophic effects on black families living in poverty. And it's important, of course, not to forget that black families in poverty live under tremendous strain. Half of all black children are growing up with one parent. Half of all black children are growing up in poverty. Yet, it's also important, I think, to understand why this has happened. Uh, it will help us as a society as we try to solve these problems. The problems that affect poor black families are not racial. If you compare uh, white families and black families of the same income level, you will discover that they have the same makeup. That is, white families of the same level of poverty are just as likely to have one parent as black families. Desertion is just as high among white families of the same income level. It's not race. The problem has to do with poverty.